boys and ghouls, and welcome to the Phantom Investigation Halloween Update. My plan for tonight is to play through every single map in order to see what has been added during this update. I can see from a visual standpoint that Rhinox's team has been busy. Like, this is nothing short of amazing. So I am very curious to see what visual aspects or gameplay aspects have maybe been altered a little bit. And I'm going to bring you guys along on the ride. Just one additional thing that I'm going to add before I get everything started is I do intend to play this directly on Halloween. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on said playthrough, but I do have an idea to make it a little bit more special in some way. And by special, I mean creepy. So I'm going to figure out a way to make it a more entertaining playthrough, but I'm going to keep everything else under wraps for the time being. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's start our investigation. Up first will be the Street House. Wow, look at all this. Rhinox has been busy, my word. Okay, I'm I'm pumped for this. Let's let's get this investigation started. I am curious to see whether or not the ghosts have ramped up in their activity or whether or not everything's just kind of the same. So, I guess there's one way to find out. Um. Holy Christmas, where the heck was that? Don't do anything without me being in here. Oh boy. Uh, alright, well, let's try to open up some dialogue here. Where are you? Okay. Cold spot, gotcha. What the heck and heck? There's some wars, but is that a candy corn ghost? So we got cold spots and ghost orbs. So what are we looking at here? It could either be a hoopia, a gelin, a moroi, or a shade. So for hoopia, I need an EMF reading. Gelin, I need ghost writing. Moroi, I need a spirit box reading. And a shade, I need something evil to happen. Uh, nothing on EVP just yet. This ghost is wild off the get-go. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely making its presence known. I'm not sure which previous ghost I mentioned is this active, but let's take a wild guess. Oh, boy. Uh, please don't do anything to me. I'm not getting any EVP, so it's definitely not a Maroi. Holy Christmas. What are the other two? A Hoopia, it needs EMF. Haven't seen that. And then a Shade, it has to do something evil. I was just in there. Get... Oh. 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 Well, uh... Oh. Oh! So you were a Jelen after all. Well, you know what? We're just gonna get out of here. Okay, that was a wild Jelen. Holy cow, I've never seen anything that crazy before. But hey, you know what? This is the first time for everything. Okay, so that goes kind of put me through the ringer because I was totally perplexed. At least initially. Next up, the apartment. Okay, I'm liking this. This is, uh, it gives you a warm feeling like this is like a really neat atmosphere, but at the same time, you know, oh yeah, deep down, I'm going to be scared absolutely shitless. But at any rate, let's get in there. Let's find us. A spooky ghost. Oh, 
Okay, I thought I saw something there. Man, th Cold spot. Already getting creepy. Not a good sign. Whoa. What the heck? Get out of here. Whoa! Um. So I have cold spots already, but nothing else so far. That's not to say that nothing is going to pop up right now. Well, that never works. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay. I swear, every single time I come in here, I think that's the ghost that just popped up, and it always unnerves me. But I guess that was by design, because in a lot of ways, some of these uh, hanging ghosts here are in points where I have been attacked from. So, uh, thanks, Rhinox. All right, I'm going to check off cold spots now, and then hopefully I find something in a little bit. Ghost has gone really quiet, though. Like, it seemingly just disappeared. I guess since it's been down here, I should maybe try moving the EMF again. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen, like, anything evil yet, or orbs, or even ghost writing at this point. Was that in here again? Whoa. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just let you finish up there. This guy really likes the storage room for some reason, so in you go. Maybe by invading its turf, it'll make it pissed off. A two-sided endeavor, if I ever do say so myself. I piss off the ghost, it does stuff. But at the same time, I piss off the ghost, and it does stuff. Go ahead, do something. I dare you! Oh, EMF! Oh, we got our second... Piece of evidence. Can I open the door? Oh. Um. Well, I'm out of here. Okay. Goodbye. EMF. Evil. You are a basty. Okay, took a little longer than I was hoping, but we did get the ghost in the end. Sometimes you do have to play these games of attrition, and I guess in some sense I'd rather have it on the apartment than someplace like, oh, I don't know, the forest, which will be our next spot to hit up. Let's get to it. Okay, this is going to go one of two ways. Either the ghost is going to be very active and very hostile, or is going to literally hide in the woods. Oh, already. Ghost orbs. Ugh. Cold spot. Is this going to be the quickest time I find a ghost? Well, I guess not. But two bits of evidence right away ain't bad. Cold spot. Ghost orbs. It could be a Hoopia, which means I need an EMF reading. It could be a Jelen, which I hope it isn't because ghost writing is a bit more challenging to find on this map. It could be Maroi, which means I need EVP, but I have not seen any EVP stuff yet in the short amount of time that I tried. Not to say that it's not going to be there, but I just haven't seen it yet. And then for a shade, we need something evil to happen. So, let's get back in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've cut to this point, so... There was a uh, ominous sound that popped up, so the ghost is going to get a lot more active. I just saw a log move. That's kind of a good indicator that something's here. Okay, Mr. Ghost, you, you kind of need to do something. Like, anything. Please and thank you. Okay, you did something. Thanks, I'm out of here. Bye-bye. We have ourselves an evil ghost. You are a shade. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm out of here. And for our last investigation, we are going to hit up the general store.
Alrighty. This one could be interesting. There have been a lot of really weird occurrences that have happened here. For such an open map and potentially a smaller map, it's uh, giving me a lot of creepy experiences. Holy. Look at this. This is awesome. I love it when people go the extra mile and do additions to their maps like these. This is cool. Well, I'm digging the spooky vibes, so let's uh, let's get ourselves all set up. Okay, you should be all set to go, so whenever you're ready, Ghost, have at it. I haven't gotten any EVP Ghost yet, so let's see if we can get one today. Where are you? F oh. Uh, you're not far. You're pretty darn close, so... That was a lot. Okay. Tremendously creepy right off the get-go. EMF? Spirit box. What could it be? It could be a wailing soul, which means I need ghost orbs. It could be a spirit, which I need something evil to happen. Or it could be a jumpy, which means I need cold spots. Holy cow, this guy's going to town on the EMF. Can you do anything else? Um, where was that? I am really nervous playing on this map because... Because you have no idea where the ghost is going to be at any given moment, and it can attack you right off the get-go. And this time I didn't jinx myself by saying the ghost never turns off the lights, because he turned off the lights. Are you friendly? Do something! I'm half tempted to say that it's a Wailing Soul, because Wailing Souls tend to be pretty active. There you are. I see you. Do something. Oh, come on. This guy's been stuck. Oh, there are the orbs. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. You are a Wailing Soul. That's it. Okay, guys. That's going to conclude my Halloween update playthrough. Once again, I will remind you guys, I will have another Halloween playthrough directly on Halloween. So I may break with the usual schedule that I have and give you guys something that's directly on the 31st, which looking at my calendar is going to be on Tuesday. So yeah, I will break from the usual schedule. But for the time being, I hope you guys enjoyed that little excursion. We had some interesting experiences, especially with the last ghost. And uh, I can safely say, if you enjoy playing this game as much as I do, you're definitely going to get something different every single time you play. So the replayability is amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Hope you guys have a good night.